Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 26th through January 1st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Taurus, what's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Five of Cups. This is pointing me out to the past, and I was already pointed out to the past when I pulled the cards, and I'm like, mm hmm But it's pointing you out to the past. It's pointing me out to the past to point you out to the past. Something happened there. I don't know what. But uh, in the recent past, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Sun. This is a place where you tell me, I'm putting myself first, I'm so in love with me, it's not even funny. I've de developed so much love for myself that I feel happiness. And then it all starts with an energy of deception, as you tell me that. So it's kind of like from the get-go lying to me. Um, I feel like you believe that. You believe that in all honesty that, yeah, you did love yourself to the point of that's all that matters, you know, and it is making me happy. I believe that truly that you believe that, but I don't know if that's what you did back there. You know, we'll figure it out more when we clarify. In the current situation, the star, the death card, the hermit. These are major energy. I feel like um, it almost feels like you're falling into the realization that whatever you desire in this world most, it's gone. Um, if you are falling in this place of realizing that, there's a whole lot of healing behind that. And I feel like that's a deep kind of healing that you may not have experienced before. Because this is that of loss of whatever you consider to be the most important thing in your life, basically. You know, it, it touches you into a place that I feel like maybe you haven't been touched before uh, within yourself. So, in the um, immediate future, the devil, the three of swords, the eight of wands. Oof. Um... I'll call this your shadow. No, I won't call it your shadow. I don't like this being your shadow. I don't like this being your shadow because our shadows are not necessarily ugly. It's just suppressed parts of ourselves, but they're not necessarily ugly. We just don't want to look at them. That doesn't make them ugly. But this devil here, and that created a lot of pain in your life and it's your devil, it's your own. Um, what do I call it? What should I call it? The, the little Taurus gremlin. I don't know, something, something quite of a distorted energy attached to you. Almost like, I've been this all my life and now I'm waking up to the fact that, wait a minute, this is not me. And it's not looking pretty because it caused a lot of havoc in your life, a lot of not great times at all. You know, if anything, pain, lots of pain. And I feel like it's being possibly uh, talked about, um, maybe with someone you trust, maybe you're even talking to yourself, I don't know about it, you know, who knows? Maybe you're writing in a journal, who knows? But there's definitely this realization that this part of you that you function under, that you functioned under um, was not necessarily the healthiest version of you, you know? And again, it brought in a lot of pain for you. So this is a big aha moment for you. Um, 
Let's let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see that five of cups there. The gremlin. The gremlin. The gremlin is nice until it's not. Oh yeah, that's what it is. The gremlin. <laughs> the gremlin version of you. The gremlin looks pretty on the outside. And then. Ah, oh, let's see. Taurus, for the Five of Cups, you get the Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Three of Swords. There was love at some point there in that past where you're showing me, you're pointing me to your past and you're showing me true love. But the love has been really covered by a lot of pain. There's some pain that came through and then there's some more pain to the point where it just covered up that love that you didn't even see it anymore. You didn't feel it, you didn't see it, you're like, ew. This is not love. This is, no, ew. While the love was still there. The problem is it was covered by a lot of pain. And you didn't get to see the love anymore. Let's do the five of swords. The wheel of fortune, the temperance card, the two of wands. I'm hearing stuff. I don't know what the hell. I mean, we had a possum last night around here, but it's weird. Anyways, because I'm like, are these the cats? No, they're not. No, there's nobody here. Anyways. Um, there's... There... there there's you going back and forth about a situation, but just kind of sitting there. I feel like you pulled yourself away from something or someone uh, with, or at least from the premises of, I got to put myself first, and this is the best thing that I can think of to do. So you go away from my life or something like that. I feel like it has to do with this love, um, where you may have pushed it away by saying to it, this is not right for me. This is, you know, I'm putting myself first, so go away. And then I still see you waiting to the side, almost like, so you did push it away, but you're still looking at it, almost like knowing there's something in there. Because as I said, that love was covered by pain. So all you could see was pain, not the love anymore. But you couldn't pull yourself completely away from it because something within you was telling you, hey, there's, there's love there and it matches you fully. So where the hell do you think you're going? You know, so I don't see you detaching from it completely, even though physically there may have been a really harsh pulling away on your side, you know, from it. So, I don't know. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. The Queen of Pentacles. Oof. Uh, the Strength card, the Lovers, the Nine of Wands. Yep. Yep, there's that connection that brings in that love and there's your rejection from the get-go to it justifying your rejection to it with no what i'm doing is putting myself first let's do the sun For this, I mean, I think it, it's raining outside, but I'm not sure. But that wouldn't. For the sun, you get the six of wands, the magician, the five of cups. That's what it is, because I see you really contradicting yourself a lot in this energy and not necessarily realizing that you're doing that. Because again, to you, you thought, okay, this is the best thing for me to stay away from this thing because it's causing pain. I don't see the love. But at the same time, you couldn't pull away from it because the love was there. It was just under that pain. And that pain was there for you to address, for whoever that was to address, because it, it's been brought up for a reason, to look at it, to heal it. So while you're manifesting this, that you're rejecting, because you're manifesting the love aspect of it, while you're calling that towards you, you're actually pushing it away because it presents itself in the way that you're manifesting, but covered by a lot of pain. 
So the minute you see that pain, logically, what do you do? You run, you run to the heels. I don't need this in my life, this is painful. What the hell is this? I don't wanna deal with this. But that was the point. I was brought to you for you to actually deal with it, not to run from it. So there's a whole lot of back and forth here on your side when it comes to this. Um, let's do the star in the current situation. The Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. Same deal. What you desire most in this world would be possibly a brand new beginning here. You know, where you uncover that love and you experience it once more. But you're still rejecting it. Why? Because there's probably still pain on top of it. You know? Did you heal that pain? Did you actually manage to go through that pain to see what's beyond it? Because I still see the rejection to what you're manifesting to what you desire. So as long as this rejection is here, even though it's looking a little more clear, I gotta admit. So there's been some healing here. There's been some healing. But you still have some work to do here. Let's do the death card. The Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Emperor. It's like, it's like your, your heart is opening up, but there's no response from the other side. Almost like that, it feels like. Um, because this is a shared energy of love, basically, between you and another energy. And I see you, the more you heal, the more you open up your heart. And your heart is probably going to look for that frequency of love that's buried by pain. But you get no answer to your call here, to your heart's call. Um, I'm not sure why. There's a blockage here somewhere. Let me do the hermit. You get the Hermit again, the King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. So there's a difference in between how you show up here in the current situation over the same energy from the past. In the past, there's a lot of back and forth. In the past, it feels like it's new. You don't know how to handle it. It shows up in one way, then it turns into another. You're scared. You run. What do I do? But you can't run because you can't. You know, something pulls you back. And this time, you're moving only forward here. And really, really aligned not only with your heart, but with your mind too. There's that perfect balance between the mind and the heart. Um, you've really stepped into your power. There's definitely a whole lot of healing happening over the situation. Somehow there's a blockage there. As you open up towards this, there's a wall. You're meeting a wall and it's not yours anymore. Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's do the devil in the immediate future. The Hierophant, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. This is that Taurus stubbornness. That's the devil energy. This is that when that bull gets stubborn, get out of the way. Get out of the way. It's going to be dangerous for whoever dares to be in the bull's way. Uh, that's why the devil is here. Because it's getting to the point of you get so stubborn about it that it makes you angry, possibly. And it's going to take out a lot of frustration. It's going to take out a lot of anger out of you. You know? So this is almost like okay you see your target and it, the the more you can get to it the mm, you're gonna get you know 
the angrier you're gonna get. Uh, so, okay. So I don't know what your target is here. Based on what came out here, where you're showing up quite aligned with one direction, which is that of your desire, your heart, it could be the same, where it's like, I can see there's a little bit of an obstacle there, this huge wall that doesn't let me pass. So let me get into Taurus angry, stubborn mode, and I'll take that wall down. I don't give a shit, you know? A little aggressive energy, a little too much. It does come through as a pattern, almost like I didn't get my way, so I'm gonna get very, very angry about this. Um, this energy right here, everything is flawless in the way that it comes through. This one, somebody angered the bull. And the bull feels the need to take down a wall to get out of the way. But I don't see it as being uh, a healthy energy, a beneficial energy for you. To begin with for the wall i don't even want to think about it in all honesty but for you you know let's do the three of swords the two of pentacles the sun the seven of cups okay this is this is a place where you're probably trying to take that wall down and then kind of stopping looking at all possible op options to to go around the wall or you know because you, you're not stopping here. You definitely have a destination here. You have a target that you want to go for. Uh, but you're trying all sorts of things. First, you're coming in energetically very open, very almost like if you were to align with this energy 100%, you would probably flow through that wall, you know? Uh, but being that, you know, you're a human, you're like, okay, let's take access and all sorts of things and let's get to work let's let's try to, to take this bitch down you know um which again not the most beneficial for you but then i see you kind of just looking at it being confused for a little bit and being like okay what are my options how do i get to what's behind that wall which is my happiness and i want it and i'm gonna go for it but let me think about it like should i go through there should i try that strategy that one that one that one like where where can i find an entrance here you know, so you're definitely not stopping. It's a matter of how you proceed. Let's do the Eight of Wands in the immediate future. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Page of Cups. <laughs> uh, it, it actually comes through as a most simple kind of energy, you know, asking. Um, there's definitely that option into creating this. Should I open up towards it and see if I get a response from behind the wall? There's a lot of confusion as you, you know, send that pigeon or dove, white dove, pigeon, pigeon. You can send the pigeon, it's fine. Uh, that dove with the message over the wall. There's a lot of confusion. There's like, I did, did, did it get there? Or did it get lost? You know, did it just kind of get distracted by freaking butterflies or whatever? Uh, there's, but there's definitely this option of just kind of opening up and see if you get a response from behind the wall uh, with, again, a lot of confusion over it. <laughs> it's quite funny the way you're showing up from, you know, I'm not going to give this up. So let me try to break down the wall to, okay, that that's not working. So let's, uh, let's strategize here. And then it's like, oh, I could just ask, you know, it's kind of funny, but it is the simplest solution usually. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. You, you, you got it going on here. Definitely with a little bit of a roller coaster ride. But uh, let's see. Let's see what the universe has. The King of Pentacles, the Moon, the High Priestess. You're actually following your intuition. Not in this energy right here. In this one, you're not following your intuition. You're following your stubbornness 
but you are for the most part being led by your intuition by what you truly feel inside and i feel like you are truly aligned with it you know um because you're showing me i don't know i have no freaking clue what i'm doing i'm just kind of moving ahead and we'll see but through this your intuition is right there by your side which is telling me you're very much in contact with your intuition so keep on doing what you're doing don't break down walls try not to and you know don't complicate things. Go for the more simple solution. Because usually that's what it is. So that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye.